Y'all know what time it is. It's Saturday and I am back working on the Plymouth. I got the Supra painted yesterday. So super happy. Gave me the weekend to be able to work on this thing. It is Labor Day or Memorial weekend this weekend. A lot of neighbors are out of town, so it makes it real nice. I can get a lot done on this. As you guys may see right here, we have some piping. We are going to bend up our own back half for the truck. And in here, I have shock mounts and all sorts of other good stuff, upper and lowers. And Butch was nice enough to CNC a bunch of plates for us for our lower um, part of our suspension. So they're all in here, a bunch of different plates. So we're gonna be tacking that all up today and kind of getting that all mocked up on this lower. Speaking of Butch, he here chugging down some water. Yep, gotta stay hydrated. I'm gonna steal him for a little while today. Um, I'm not planning to rush through this and get it done today. I just wanna tack a bunch of stuff together and get this truck just so the next time it moves, it's rolling on its own. First, we gotta cut the springs in the front. As you guys have seen, I've been cutting away on those and I'm gonna do one more cut. This thing's got like eight and a half inches of ground clearance underneath of it. I want like six. So cut those, level out the frame. I think we might drag the bender up front here, um, make it a little easier. Bend up some pipe, build up some stuff, build some plates, all the fun stuff. Anyways, we're gonna dive into it. Enjoy. Butch ain't slowing down for nothing. Once this dude gets in the groove, he's in the groove. So we've got all the plates made up. As you guys can see, they're all tacked together. These ones are correct. They're all correct now. I went out and I cut this plate in half. We're gonna be using it right here. And then our round two will come off the back of it, come around to that side. But right now he is just test fitting all of these brackets that he CNC'd and cut out on the plasma table. I think it's came out really nice. Ew. Yeah. The little 110 welder putting in work. Yep. yep, yep, everything's working good. So right now we are just going to get everything fit in here, make sure everything is where we want it, do a bunch of measurements, and then uh, tack it all in, make sure this four link works. So let's dive into that. got a four link look at that it's all tacked in there butch's brackets are killer i mean let's just let's just take a look here real quick let's do a comparison check factory bracket nice cnc bracket by butch factory bracket nice little tabs made by butch so we got a plate that's gonna go on the front of that. We just gotta figure out all of our travel first. And then all this is just mock up. We're gonna get the hoop mocked up. A lot of this mocked up. And then, actually I think we'll probably fully put this in. Mm -hmm. And then we'll mock up the hoop and do all that fun stuff. All right now so. I think we're gonna clamp a bunch of this stuff up and start going to town. I think actually I gotta bend this frame just a little bit. And then we'll go to town on it. All right y'all, this air hose is really noisy so I'm gonna make it quick. But we've got the two bender out in the backyard here. Look at that light. That's one of those ones we just got. So shout out to Michael giving us those lights. It's gonna work in all sorts of aspects. We're out here backyard. We're gonna bend this up. We're gonna try to do it in one shot. One shot, one bend to make that whole back piece there. And if not, I've got two other pipes. So I was thinking, look at this beast. Shout out to Rogue Fab. This thing's dope. All right, what do we do there? I messed up. Ah, it was it was our practice run. So first time using the Rogue. I mean, look how nice these bends are though. 
So nothing got messed up. It's just we thought that the clamp slid so we were gonna put it on the other side to get our bend shorter where we wanted it and actually we should have left it on the first one. So it was just moved it, lost six inches about, I think is what it was, six inches. So just um, trust your instincts. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah. He Don't was, second guess yourself. He was totally down and then, so we moved it into the garage. We've got it set up on a nice flat plane here so it ain't gonna fall over on us. Yeah. And we've got enough room to make our bend and we're gonna do it in the garage now where it's much nicer, much better lighting. We're, we're better off here. We thought it was gonna be quick and easy. It was quick and easy, but now it's gonna be quick and easy and better. So now we're gonna bend it up, getting our clamp set now. Get it real tight so she doesn't slip. Nice and tight. Yeah, I think she's probably pretty good. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this again. So take two. We got it this time, we got it this time. Certain we got it this time. So we are going to uh, finish bending this thing. All right, so whenever you're doing these, always make sure to get your die back into these ones. We accidentally put it in like this one and it came up here and grabbed itself. We were trying to figure out why this thing was ramming out and that's why. So just make sure you always put it down here where it says the clamp die goes. Just, just we weren't paying attention. It flopped on us and we weren't paying attention. So we just put everything in and then bam. So no big deal. It's, I mean, it bent beautifully. Look at that guy. Yep, yep. You can't even tell. No, it's so clean. Rogue Bender's got it even when you fuck it up. <laughs> so we're gonna finish uh, bending this and weld it on. Working that pipe, y'all. All right, so this thing fits real nice. Like, I'm super happy with it. Bender, this thing is too cool. I, I just, it's super, super neat. I do have to put this block under it because I have a Harbor Freight Ram on it and it just won't pick up hydraulic pressure if it's flat. Nothing to do with Rogue. Rogue is super cool. And I've got these little guys on here so you don't catch yourself on the edge. Other than that, Super nice. So Rogue, if you're watching, that's the only thing. Let's round these edges out and this thing would be extra, extra dope. It's still super dope. So anyways, we are fitting the bar up now. Look how cool this thing looks. And we're just getting started. We still got to plate all, cut these plates, box all this in, tear it all back apart, get everything powder coated. It's going to be super red. But that, that just looks super cool. It reminds me of like an old tea bucket. Yeah. Where they just have like the back half round section because it's right behind the wheels. But yeah. And that'll house the bed and then we're going to build another hoop most likely that goes behind it. And that's going to hold all the bed sides, whatever we decide to put back there, all the fun stuff. I mean we could even, we could get crazy with it. But it's going to be super simple, super cool. And we're going to weld this in real fast and uh, have a rear bar and then hang shocks tonight I think even yet. And try to get this thing just a legit certified roller and uh, go from there. So let's jump into a time lapse and weld this in.
Y'all hear that? We're playing with some tube. We're almost there. 12.30, 12.30. But are y'all seeing what we're seeing? All right, guys, moment of truth. Yep. Yep. So it is up on the jack yet, a little bit. All the back is welded. Ooh wee. Yes. Yes. We got a little gussets and a few lower sections and things like that, but this thing's like 75% welded up. Easy on the back half. So we're gonna let the jack down and uh, see what happens here. It works. Fuck oh, yeah. Yep. It works. We can bounce on it. Look at this guy. Look at this tan that he's got. Oh, this, yeah. this burn. Yeah. Ooh. All on the arms. Dang. Yeah, I probably got one on my... Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. It's been like a solid day of welding. Yeah, <laughs> non-stop welding. Four? Four? Yeah. Four o'clock. 10 to 4, 16 hour day of like basically welding. Say, say like 12 hours of welding. <laughs> there was like three, four hours of just miscellaneous BS, but a lot of welding. That's rad. Anyways, I'm gonna end it off here, guys. It's four in the morning. Can y'all picture it? I know I can. All right, sorry about the mess in here. It's kind of hard working out of just a normal old household garage, especially when it's like my workshop and my business and kind of my everything. Um, I gotta do customer cards in here as well, so I really gotta try to keep it clean. And uh, tomorrow will be a whole another day with the customer's car in here. None of this stuff will be in here. That's why I'm pushing real hard to get it done. But we are making some headway. I've got the bed kind of all leveled out. I'm really trying to decide what I wanna do with this thing. I'd love to come down more with the bed and kind of do like a flatbed style with it I guess it'd be like super smooth all along the bottom and then put the wood bed up on top um, do a bunch of stuff there or do I want to leave it pickup style and come like right above the shots here come over and have like that much of a floor I'm not quite sure what I want to do but for now I do know I need to come in and cut all of this out which will help because it'll cut out a bunch of this rot here and kind of go that route. I'd love to keep it, but as you guys can see, we're fighting issues with that. I can't go with any bigger tire if I go this way, where if I cut all of it out, I'll be able to run as deep back of a tire as I really want in a sense. Um, it'll stick on the ins on to the bedside of the fender, but I can only come to you know here because I do have this bar. So lots of limitations with this build, um, but it's the nature of the beast. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead cut this stuff out and then continue mocking everything up. Check that thing out, slick, slick, slick. So this is the gap that I was talking about kind of earlier that I wanted to get filled up, and I think I've almost achieved it. 
I think by the time I get this running board squared away, it'll come up. I mean, it's still got a good ways to come up there. You can see the scap on the back of the cab. So once I get that bent up, I'll have just a little bit here. So I might even have to cut a little rot out and go that way. The fender is right at the crease. I don't know if you guys can see down in there or not, but we are right at the crease on this fender. I think I might have like a half inch, quarter inch that I didn't come down yet, but that is low as the bed will go. Overall, this will be kind of the look of the Plymouth. I might have to drop the front end just a little bit more, a little bit, maybe kind of not highly doubt it. I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is. By the time I put a wheel in there, oh man, but look how rad that is. That's just the good old little Plymouth there. Anyways, I'm gonna get the other side just mocked up. All this is just mock up on the bed so I can get this thing looking like a truck so I can park it right there. A little dark out here, but y'all be able to get the idea. The old Plymouth's looking rad. Okay, you won't get the idea. All right, y'all. There you got it. I have the Plymouth A roller. I am so stoked on this thing. It's, it's finally a truck. Now we have to go through. I'm actually going to get this thing water blasted. Um, so we're going to send it out, get it water blasted, um, get it back and see where we're at. I was going to originally just hand sand this whole thing, but man, that's a whole lot of work. So we're going to blast it, see where we're at and uh, kind of go from there. So I'm going to end this video out with this truck complete on the backyard back half. Super happy on it as well. We are going to add tie bars in here. I've got a little surprise i guess you could say for that right there i'm super excited to try what we're gonna try and uh go from there so anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video we will catch you on the next one like subscribe share if you are enjoying the plymouth build and uh we'll get back on the crv shortly but right now it's all about this plymouth catch you guys next time